all right, let's get it rocking. We're talking about Kanye West. He gets praise from Snoop Dogg and more. So that means multiple people are praising him. Now, look how we're about to take all their power. Look, to God be the glory. God's in control of all things. And this is after revealing Adidas is suing him for 250 mil over the Yeezy boost. What did I say we're going to do next? Your boost. <laughs> let's <laughs> I'll praise the most high. Yo, let's get it. Okay, we're starting here at Psalms 147 in no order. We're going to go through it. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God. Our lips is giving thanks to his to his more is what it seems to the more he does for us all right now we're at psalms 150 and no order again praise you the lord praise god in the sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power next you gotta gotta read isaiah chapter one starting at the second verse to the verse to the eighth verse this makes the limits more limitless and then you gotta work your way down to first corinthians chapter 12 starting at the 19th to the 25th verse this makes your limits even greater these are you personally reading and the more you read the stronger it is that you grow in faith and grow in power because your faith is your power you'll understand that more especially when you leave this earth okay psalms chapter 127 starting at the six praise you the lord for it is good to sing praises unto our god for it is good to well, to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and his praise is comely, meaning that he you have to please God. In order to get favor, you have to do things to please God, okay? Hit that like button, share, subscribe. Let's please God with our works by doing the will of God, which is uh, telling people that Jesus Christ is real. Now let's continue. Now we're looking at Psalms 106, chapter one. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, O give thanks unto the, unto the Lord with my mouth, Yea, I will praise him among the multitude, meaning in front of anyone at any point in time, you'll declare his name and you're not bashful. You're not shy. You're not fearful. You stand on God no matter what no, with your life to the very end, because, you know, you'll be with him no matter what anyone does, because that is how strong he is in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, in your being. OK, let's get it going. And we're putting him in our being. <laughs> let's get it. Now we're at. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. By him, therefore, let your offer, let you offer thy sacrifice of praise to God. Now, understand continually that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name right there. You should confess his name to everyone, anyone you encounter. If you encounter someone, you should, that's another opportunity to do the will of God, therefore to please God. Why do you take slow to get advantage of pleasing God? Every moment I try and please God, no matter what. I don't care what anyone thinks. I don't care. You should neither. Please God. God is the one who chooses where you go, not man. That's why you guys don't be men pleasers. That's why I talk about that when we when we get to those scriptures. Okay, now we're at Psalms 99 and 3. Remember, not in no certain order. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. Okay, what did I say? I said he's not lovey dovey. He's a what? I said he's a beast. He's a monster. He's not the beast. That's why he's mocking him. Satan's mocking God. When you guys draw them manly pictures of Satan, that's not him. If you draw a, a really, think of the sissiest, softest, weakest picture of anything you could draw, that's Satan. It's not. God is the terrible one who loves you, okay? The one he, like, I mean, terrible is not meant of his character. Terrible is those who oppose him. You will see a terrible day the moment you oppose my God. You're gone. You you get on my God's bad side. You you call him the anger. And we're going to get there. <laughs> we, you guys, y'all don't even know. All right, let's go. Psalms chapter 100. We're starting at the first verse to the fifth. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his, pre his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his uh, his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name for the Lord is good and, merc and his mercy and is everlasting and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations, all generations. OK, he is endless. He will be here when, when we're gone. He's still going to be here when you're dead. 
and they're still going to have to find them when you're dead. That is why you have to pass down a good message to children so they learn. That's the only thing you should be passing to children. You guys are talking about inheritance, all this other stuff people talk about. No, it's the knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's what you pass the child. There's nothing else that's more important. Nothing. Okay? Right there. These dudes are lost. They're really lost. And we're going to get to that. That gets deep. Okay? Let's go. Psalms 127. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. He's praised to no end. That's why there's no amount of, let's say, pride you take to praise in his name. People be like, oh, that's too much. No, it's never too much. It's not enough. Okay. Even the praise we give to daily in church or in life, it's not enough. There's more praises he deserves. Now let's get serious. We got to keep it moving. This gets real. Let's talk about shout out to first Peter chapter one, verse three. Blessed be the God and the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy with begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Knowing this, oh, okay, no, that's the end of that. Right there, it's declaration. Jesus Christ is the one. His name is where the power is at. All we're doing is making declarations to him. Right there is the mindset and mentality you should have when it comes to hearing the name Jesus. You defend it like your daughter. We're going to go over that. I've read that to the people in the past, but we're going to read something like that. You defend the name always because he's going to kill all offenders. Here's the thing. You guys look to see death immediate. No, you. He, he makes it slow and painful because God is God of all things. He knows the death people deserve and he gives it to them. So praise him. While he is yet here to be praised and you're alive to do it. All right. Romans chapter six, starting at the first. Let's go. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be, let's see, might be that destroyed that henceforth we shouldn't, we should not serve sin for he that is dead is free from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For in that he died, he died unto the once, he died in um to unto sin once, but in that he liveth. He live that God likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead and in, indeed unto sin once, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin Therefore, reign in your mortal, your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the, in the, in the watch thereof, in the, in the space thereof. So sin is literally a temptation to get you to go to hell. That's all it's for. So you got to fight it day and night. You got to fight it all. As much as possible. You're not supposed to give in. And now, here's where we get deeper. So this Kanye story takes us into Revelations once again. This is how real God is. And it gets deep, yo. Revelations, okay. Well, before that, Philippians chapter 1. See, it gives these so many good verses. Starting at the night first. And this I pray that your love may abound yet more. And more in knowledge and in all judgment. And then you guys got to read Romans chapter 11, verse 3 through 9. Ezekiel chapter 36, and then Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. Those are for your solo reads to empower yourself. When you do solo reads, I tell you this because it's important. If I read it, you're not going to get the power. That's why you got to read it because it's given to your soul, okay? I read what God allows me to read to you. I ask him for leadership. Now we're at Revelation chapter 18, starting at the first first. okay? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the, in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour is she made desolate, hath avenged you and on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying thus with violence shall show the great that great city babylon be thrown down and shall be be found no more at all no more at all 
in the in the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in the and there in the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in the for thy merchants were were the great men of the earth for they are they by sorcerers were all nations deceived and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and all that were slain upon the earth right there they're going to do wickedness towards believers and people that god has sent to spread his message and god's going to get vengeance by wiping them out to nothingness now with that thing now remember now let's <laughs> i'm gonna just read it revelation chapter 19 verse 1 and after these things i heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying hallelujah hallelujah salvation glory and honor and power unto the lord our god right there even when everything's done these dudes are going to be gone dead in hell but jesus christ will reign he will not be stopped he cannot be stopped Kanye, he can't be stopped. You're worried about being sued. You need to find God. You started out doing the work of God. Now, what are you doing, sir? You're going totally against everything that he stood for. This is his last time reaching out to you. I know you guys read these stories, Kanye. This is your last moment. You either turn or find God, or he's going to get rid of you because you gave up all that he gave you, your opportunity to praise him. You are the one who could praise him openly in front of everyone on a large platform, but you failed. You failed God, man. How do you fail God? But you haven't failed to not only <laughs> mess up your marriage. You haven't failed to do all these other things in the media, but you failed to praise God. Do you know how much of a joke that is, fam? Yeezy. Your Yeezy boost and all you other do, Snoop Dogg, thank you. I'm going to take your power happily. I'm going to snatch your power. But I'm also tell you, find the Lord Jesus Christ. Give me your power and you go find God and I'll take your power. Keep your riches. But when you leave here, don't stand against me. I'm going to be your strength and my strength. And all my brethren and sisters are going to be just as strong. So you best make way. You best move ahead. You move on Satan's side, you're done, boy. You're done. You stand across from me, you're all done. I'm going to finish you. I got my sword. I'm ready. I am ready. All rights reserved. <laughs>